Good Friday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center, downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with the latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Over Time, bringing you more weather information in just a few minutes than what we can do on air, beginning to see a very hot several period of days setting up over the Mid-South as we go into the first week of July, starting again today, first day of July. Happy July to you. And again, heading out of June, a very dry month behind for the month by over two inches of rainfall so not a lot of rain there we'll take a look at the almanac coming up in just a little bit we'll also take a look at the exclusive seven to ten day forecast and show you a little bit more about what's going on out there where it comes to anything involving outdoor activities especially and including fireworks as we go into this next monday might be some possible delays out there we'll talk more about where when and what we're looking at for the way of severe weather potential as well that's coming up here in just a little bit heading out the door pretty soon and thinking about taking a break for some coffee. You might risk a little bit of warm coffee this morning, but probably going to be looking for the possibility of some iced, frothy coolness and some cold, icy coffee later on today on our exclusively exclusive News Channel 3 cough temp, the coffee the temperature index, tongue firmly in cheek, and taking a look at what the coffee conditions would be best for considering the weather in the Mid-South coming up later on. Tons of sunshine around the Mid-South area, a little bit of cloud cover out there, and some showers here and there. The plenty of sunshine down toward Oxford, Mississippi from Germantown taking a look around the weather underground cameras from the backyard back pool area from ex Airbus driver's webcam in the weather underground camera section taking a look down toward the area in and around uh, for the area of considering that we're gonna be getting again some fairly dry conditions out across the area we do not have anything shaping up in the way of burn bans at this time. Fire danger is low and no burn bans have been issued at this time across any section of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Olive Branch, Mississippi from former Olive Branch Mayor Sam Reichard's webcam looking back to the northwest and seeing a few extra clouds moving on through there, including a few clouds but mainly blue skies from City Hall at Olive Branch and looking again very quiet conditions right now. A little bit of shade out there helping to keep the temperatures down and across again much of the area. Sorry about the repeat there, but just some more sunshine out across the Mid-South. Earthquakes in the area, nothing to report in the last 24 hours, so definitely good news there into the Mid-South area. We did manage to have one last week about Saturday morning just north of Marion, Arkansas. Haven't seen one that far south and that close to the area in and around Memphis in many months. So we're going to be keeping a very close eye on earthquakes, especially into this weekend. For yesterday, high temperatures in Memphis on Thursday, the last day of June, 94 degrees, just a bit above normal for this time of the year and a little bit below normal on the low temperature during the morning, so cooled off by just a little bit. Rainfall, we should have had three and almost two-thirds inches for the month. We got barely over an inch, which means we are behind for the year, for the month itself, about about two and a half inches so that was a very dry month of June and as we get into the rest of the year we still have a decent surplus of about eight and a third inches so very much on the quiet side where it comes to rainfall over the last few days moon has again gone back toward crescent at this time it's about 11.4 percent of full to be setting at about 5:28 p.m and rising tomorrow morning at about 4:16. sun plenty of it 14 hours plus of sunlight about 14 hours and 32 minutes today and also into tomorrow so looking very quiet there chance of showers and thunderstorms developing and drifting on through by lunchtime into the Mid-South, a bit of a lull, and then more chances of showers and thunderstorms as we get into Friday afternoon and into the early evening hours around the time that we hit drive time home. So if you have any plans for outdoors, especially things like vacation, Bible school, athletic camps, or just taking the kids for a picnic in the park, you are going to be needing to watch the skies and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the potential of more areas of showers, maybe some more thunderstorms starting to redevelop as we get into the rest of the day today. Chances of showers and thunderstorms should be basically gone from the Mid-South as we get into around News Channel 3 at 10 later on tonight. And then getting to around daybreak, be sure to join us on News Channel 3 starting at 6 a.m. We'll have more chances of showers and thunderstorms later during the day. The temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s by the time the day starts off. Mid-morning, chance of showers and thunderstorms up around the Missouri-Arkansas border and staying up that direction. But as we get into the rest of the weekend, again, more chances of showers and thunderstorms possible as we get into around Saturday afternoon and evening. So outdoor 4th of July holiday celebrations. Going to have to watch out for that. And that goes right on through News Channel 3 at 10. Taking a look at the exclusive 7-day forecast, we see again 
with the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms for the rest of the day over parts of the area, especially this afternoon and this evening. Repeat that forecast into tomorrow. You've got a pretty good idea as to what's going on into the area for, again, the rest of the forecast for the weekend itself. The number is going to be very similar out there, rising by just a bit. And this is going to be, again, the forecast recipe for the next couple of days. Now, as we get into around portions of the holiday itself on Monday, numbers drop by just a little bit on the temperatures, but unfortunately, the numbers start to rise where it comes to chances of showers and thunderstorms out there. And that could spell some problems for fireworks displays Monday evening. Delays or cancellations can't entirely rule those out, so we want to stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. 10-day forecast takes the numbers way up into the mid to upper 90s. Could be some century marks out there. Record highs doesn't look like it's going to be that hot, but it is going to be very steamy out there as we head throughout the rest of the 10-day forecast, so not much in the way of relief anytime soon. Numbers for highs in the mid to upper 90s, low temperatures dropping into the mid to upper 70s across much of the area. Also, the possibility of some severe weather in the Mid-South as we get into around areas close to Sunday night. This is again going to be a bit of a problem for outdoor activities into the Mid-South, so definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more updates on that. The green area indicates a more marginal threat, a lesser threat of severe weather. Best possibility of severe weather for right now into the Boot Hill and Northwest Tennessee up around Dyersburg. Main threat from this will be the possibility of large hail and damaging winds, and main time frame for this north of the metro area will be Sunday late evening into Monday morning. So please keep that in mind throughout the weekend as you keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Think it's bad here where it comes to heat. Take a look at weather where the troops are for this holiday weekend. Back over toward portions of Iraq. Temperatures number back into the triple digits easily enough with Baghdad and Najaf at 108 and 116 down to around the Gulf. Numbers again continue to be rather on the steamy side as we look into numbers back in the triple digits easily enough around the Arabian Peninsula and the Persian Gulf area as well. After Afghanistan, a little cooler into the mountains, not by much. Lower 90s around Kabul, a lot hotter down into the southwestern parts of the country. Kandahar at about 103 degrees. And looking back towards South Korea, temperatures much more palatable on the southern part of the peninsula, back in the upper 70s to lower 80s, with some showers and thunderstorms taking place late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. So again, some very warm conditions for areas around the southern peninsula, and more activity like that expected. Thanking Kelvin Gates for a great double rainbow picture sent in on social media from Hacks Cross and Winchester a couple of days ago. Other great pictures sent in from Savcap123 of a cotton candy sky in and around the area on areas close to the uh, Mid-South as we up to about midweek or so. And then Deborah J54, thanks to a great shout from this morning. Friday morning sunrise bracketed by a few clouds in and around Humboldt, Tennessee. Got any pictures of sunrise or otherwise weather pictures? Definitely want to send them along and I'll feature them on Daybreak when possible. Aonic underscore WREG3. And also don't forget to tune in for my forecast available throughout the weekend on the EAB Network. Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 and also on AM730 early Friday morning. Very much on the warm side out there. We're already starting to see again some showers starting to redevelop over parts of eastern Arkansas this morning. Severe weather right now doesn't appear to be a major threat today or tomorrow, but once again on Sunday, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll have more details and a complete forecast and we'll be keeping our eye for the potential of severe weather for the area. Again, that's going to be late Sunday night into very early Monday morning, so something you want to stay tuned for throughout the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online and I'll have your complete forecast. That's a wrap for this edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining me, and keep it tuned to WRAG.com weather for updates, and of course on News Channel 3. I'll have all the details throughout the rest of the weekend.